so now comes another scenario like you are a director of the company and suppose you are going to dubai or uae or any uh, trade fair in india or any other place now when you are going to that place you have taken advance of say 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakh rupees from the company so it is very important for you to get it documented as well that this advance that you are taking is for the purpose of the marketing or the business activity of the company if that documentation is not done then again there will be a trouble how this payment will create confusion in your books of accounts like for what what purpose it has been done okay suppose you you have taken this payment of advance and now the expense that you are incurring you are not getting the billing done in the name of the company it will add cherry on the cake from the problem perspective so you need to make sure that whenever you are taking any advance from the company on for the like any uh, for any kind of a trade fair or any kind of uh, meetings that you are doing on behalf of the company and that advance generally is related to the business development expense or other expenses of the company properly the documentation has to be done if possible a resolution should also be passed for the same if the amount is higher amount okay secondly the billing for all those expenses should be done in the name of the company you know now suppose you are staying in hotel in that case credit will not be there because if you are staying outside india or any other place outside the state the credit of uh, this gst will not be availed by the company still the billing should be done in the name of the company okay okay and if you are buying some equipments or doing any uh, payments to say uh, the vendors who are installing your stalls etc etc those credits you will be able to get only if the billing is done in the name of the company okay please ensure that proper documentation is done even in case when you are taking any advances from the company else it will be treated as either your income or it will be treated as a loan to a director okay so in order to avoid this confusion please ensure that this kind of transactions are handled properly through proper documentation thank you